Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Fatima Tuzhara, consultant dermatologist at New Roots Hair Clinic, Hyderabad. Today I'll be talking about the travel after hair transplantation. It is definitely best to avoid the travel hassle post hair transplant procedure so that you have sufficient rest. However, if you do not have the luxury to wait for 3-4 days and have to travel after the procedure then you must exercise extreme care and precautions ensure that you do not hurt your scalp and keep away from any contact with the scalp while traveling your doctor will give you all the necessary information required for the trip in order to keep your scalp safe strictly follow those instructions in order to avoid any complications so now let's discuss one by one first is the flying after hair transplantation If you plan to fly after hair transplantation then you must be aware that it can affect your hair transplant results. Post surgery you are bound to have some degree of swelling and when you travel the cabin pressure is likely to make it worse. The swelling may affect your forehead and the eyes. It is usually advised not to fly for at least a one week post procedure. This will give you sufficient time for your scalp to heal. and reduce the chances of any infections and complications your surgeon will provide you specific mandates regarding where it is safe for you to travel based on the type of surgery done for you and your individual health status make sure that when you travel you follow all these post operative instructions very carefully in flights at high altitude the overall pressure is lesser than what is on the ground your scalp is already having some amount of pain inflammation and swelling The pressure differences during the flight will put additional load on your scalp and is going to worsen your scalp conditions. This will prolong the healing process and can impact the outcome of the hair transplantation. Make sure that you have the pain medications that your doctor prescribed. What's more, there is a more possibility of you getting hurt by someone when they reach out for their overhead baggage. So exercise extreme care and precautions when people around you are in a hustle to take care of their overhead luggage. What precautions you have to take when you travel by the road transport? When you are traveling by road, make sure that you have air condition in your cars because this will prevent the sweating and sweating can aggravate your chances of in catching infections. This happens more so in the hot weather. Also do not keep the your windows of the cars open. otherwise it will attract more dust towards your scalp and this can lead again to the infections also be careful that you do not rub your head against the backrest it is very essential that you communicate to your doctor and tell the travel plans beforehand so that you get the optimized post op care so to summarize travel by the flight you should wait for one week before the flight travel however if it is not possible wait for a minimum of 3 to 4 days Travel by car for long distance. Traveling on the same day is never recommended by car for long distances. If you are coming from out station, you should stay overnight and travel the next day at least so that you get the adequate sleep and you take all the precautions while traveling. Travel by train. It is not advisable to travel by train due to the busy hustle bustle at the station and in the train compartment. even if you have to travel wait for at least 5 to 6 days before planning it do not travel in overcrowded and non ac coach protect your head well do not carry the luggage or the strain always ask for assistance do not bend the head downwards sleep with a neck pillow carry the clean linens with you for the travel and have prescribed medicines with you all the time when can you drive a bike after hair transplantation You may be advised to drive the bike after 4 weeks only because that is the time when you are allowed to wear the helmets. If you wear the helmet before that, there is chances of displacement and dislodgement of the graft and catching of the infection is there. When can you drive a car after hair transplantation? Obviously, after surgery you will be your body will be fatigued and you will be under the effect of many medications. So you will feel drowsy and not well. So you should avoid the driving of car at least 5 to 6 days post surgery or till the time you feel that you have recovered and you are you feel good from inside i hope this video was helpful for everyone and you can plan your surgeries and travel accordingly thank you